Hey everyone, it's me, Megs, and I'm back with another video. Today we are moisturizing and sealing and doing the baggy method. I'm going to share with you guys how I personally enjoy doing the baggy method, and it has been working really well for me. I've been doing the baggy method since March, and right now my hair is air dried, and I have been wearing it in a protective style of a bun. So this is how I moisturize and do the baggy method at nighttime using... ORS olive oil oil moisturizing hair lotion you can use whatever moisturizer you like using but I've been using this one since 2008 and I'm going to seal with coconut oil today but sometimes I also love using olive oil because both of these oils help repair your hair and adds health and help you retain length so I love these two oils and I am going to use my rake comb, y'all, okay? So I'm gonna section off my hair into four sections. You can section off your hair however you see fit, more or less. Um, I do four because it works well for me. So it's important that you do sections when you moisturize your hair because you wanna make sure you get all the areas of your hair moisturized because that helps ensure that your hair remains healthy, helps you retain length, and helps minimize breakage and all that good stuff. So I have my four sections here and I'm actually gonna split this section in half because I wanna make sure I get all areas of my hair good and moisturized and sealed. So let's go ahead and go in with the oil moisturizing hair lotion. And I use about a dime size for this section and I really focus on my ends because my ends is what I want to preserve. And y'all, I've been doing a really good job, okay? I've been doing this exactly like this since March as far as the moisturizing sealing in the baggy method using coconut oil. And it's really been working. So you want to make sure you focus on the ends and then work your way up to the top near the roots and get that all moisturized. And then we're sealing with the coconut oil. I love coconut oil because... Um, it's one of the lighter oils in my opinion, but it gets the job done and it's really lightweight on your hair. And I do kind of go a bit heavy handed because my hair is not blown out or straightened. My hair is air dried. So I tend to do um, this method when my hair is air dried and I wear my protective styles of buns during the week. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same exact um, thing on the next section. Do the moisturizer first and then work it all the way from the ends all the way up to the root area. I apply a little bit more moisturizer to the ends sometimes. And then of course, seal with coconut oil. So the coconut oil right now looks solid like that because sometimes my coconut oil solidifies <laughs> in my place here. Um, but that's okay, you just warm it up between your hands and apply it. But I love coconut oil, it gives my hair so much shine. And by the next morning, this would all be absorbed to my hair. Like, yes, I love it so much. So I'm going to um, do the same exact thing on the other sections. But in the front, I'm going to make sure that I split that in half too. Because this is my problem area near my temple area. It's a little bit thin. And I want to make sure I get that nice and moisturized to strengthen my hair to grow that area out too. So I start with moisturizer. Make sure I really get my edges and that's how I keep my edges nice and healthy. And of course, seal with the coconut oil or the olive oil. You can use whatever oil you see fit to seal your hair with. You do not have to use the same exact things that I use. Use what works best for you because it's all about the method, okay? So I'm going to get to this section and I'm going to split this section in half because I really want to make sure I focus in on this particular area in the front area. And I'm going to just seal also. And moisturizing and sealing is like one of the best things. Um, and I feel like it's the most crucial for myself within my hair journey to make sure my hair never gets dry. Because once my hair starts to get dry, it wants to snap, it wants to break off. And it's just, you know, it's not good. <laughs> and of course, when that's done, I'm just going to comb through. And when you are doing this, make sure you get your nape area too. Because that's a very fragile area of our hair. You want to make sure that it stays nice and moisturized too. But yeah, moisturizing and sealing is like crucial for my hair regimen. Like when my hair is not thoroughly moisturized, 
it starts to decline in health. My hair doesn't style as well. My deep conditions are different. Like everything is so much different when I make sure my hair is moisturized and conditioned. I think those are two of the number one things for me in my regimen. So once that's all moisturized in the sections, um, I'm just going to comb everything back because I'm going to prepare my hair for bed. And I do apply a little bit more coconut oil to my edges just to smooth everything out. And I'm going to use an extremely soft brush just to brush my hair back because I also like to make sure my edges are flat too when I go to bed. So I'm going to put my hair in a very loose bun with this satin scrunchie. And I absolutely love this. And I make sure that it's really, really loose. I love these scrunchies for bed. Because my hair is in a bob and I don't want to split my hair too much. And I think that's what's been helping me um, since March. So I am going to use a kind of like a deep conditioning baggie. Put my hair into a very, very loose bun with this satin scrunchie. And get the bag. You can use whatever plastic that you own. And this is the baggy method for me at least. I'm going to apply this on my ends, on the bun part. And this helps keep the moisture in your hair. Like it, it gives you like great moisture. Like when you wake up the next morning, your hair feels so, so good, so soft, and so moisturized. Sometimes I add another uh, satin scrunchie on top loosely. But most of the time I don't have to do that. But yeah, y'all, I love this method. I've been doing this since March and my ends have been thanking me, okay? This is really going to help me retain length. I just know it because my last trim, I barely had to cut any hair off. So of course, get your satin scarf. I like to use a, uh, a square scarf and fold it into a triangle. Have my tail at the back. That I call that the tail. You're going to put the flat part in the front of your hair. This is how I like to tie my hair up. Tie that one time in the back. I'm not going to knot that. And I'm just going to bring it to the front, tie it, and then I am going to knot it. And put the remaining fabric on the sides. And this is how I go to bed. My edges are covered and nice and flat. My nape is covered also. And everything is just nice and neat to go to bed. And my hair is so moisturized when I wake up the next day, y'all. I don't do the baggy method every day, but I do it about three days out of the week and it works amazing for me. So if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.